in Kansas, where the Republican incumbent Pat Roberts is in deep trouble. Yes, in Kansas, the Republican is in deep trouble. He has an independent candidate running against him. There's not a Democrat on the ballot. The independent is winning if you look at the polls. Pat Roberts, listen to this ad, trying to use immigration as an issue, his opponent's position to say, this guy's not an independent at all. Orman gave thousands of dollars to elect Barack Obama, even Harry Reid. Now Orman says he'd support giving amnesty to millions of illegal immigrants. Greg Orman's not independent. In Washington, Orman would vote with Obama for amnesty. If, if that's the tone of a Republican ad in the final weeks this year, it is hard to see, and maybe miracles do happen, hard to see a different position from the Republican leadership next year, right? No, that's absolutely the case. And, and it's not just that. It's not just Senate and House races. It's governor's races. Mm -hmm. There's places like Texas where Democrats want Hispanics to turn out. Florida is another example. Not that Hispanic voters are the same everywhere. They're Cuban in Florida, Mexican-American in Texas, et cetera. Um, that dynamic is interesting there because Greg Orman, the independent, uh, has just refused to say what he would do in Washington right. and who he would caucus with. And Pat Roberts' campaign finally has a message and a campaign team and is finally running coherent television ads against this guy. He, and these are pretty tough. He, he says he would caucus with the winners and see if he's trying to use his leverage. Brave, there. We'll see, yeah, that's brave. We'll see if we can work <laughs> that out.